What an awesome movie. Ah, what I'm talking about, Logan. I just came back after first day for a show. Well, guys, uh, this is your host, Abbas, and bringing yet another movie review, this time on Logan by Filmy Fanatic. I was a huge fan of the animated series of X-Men and Superman and Batman. I used to watch a lot of them. But uh, when it comes to the mutants, when it comes to the X-Men, Wolverine was my favorite because uh, of his personality traits. Well, let's say for the first fact that he has this awesome claws, like, you know, that come out of his hands. And how cool was that? Like, you know, when I was a kid, I used to always fancy myself having that, like, you know, that kind of claws. Secondly, uh, the way that he deals with everyone. I mean, all of the superheroes find it their moral obligation to help others. When it comes to Wolverine, it is not the same. He is, he is very violent, he is very aggressive and he has this very unique attitude of I don't give a shit about you or I don't give a shit about what you think about me attitude and that is what makes Wolverine very unique not just among the mutants but amongst all the other superheroes I mean he is the guy who will walk up and who will flirt with the girlfriend of another guy I mean he is actually flirting around with Jean Grey <laughs> He, like, you know, he does whatever he wants to. But then there's also a sad part about his story that he doesn't remember anything. So when we first saw Hugh Jackman on the big screen playing the role of Wolverine, uh, like, you know, that time the Wolverine doesn't remember anything about his past. And how did he acquire his powers? Like was he, like you know, by birth he had all these metal claws, adamantium claws or not? Well, uh, when uh, after that we saw the X-Men first movie, the second and then the third one and then we started seeing the spin-off series of uh, Wolverine himself. The first movie was not that much uh, impressive. The second one was however, was quite good. It was directed by James Mangold who is also directing this movie. And uh, we also came to know what happened in his past because the first part of Wolverine showed us what happened in his past. But ever since he lost his memories, you know, it has been a very rough life for him. It actually it has been a rough life for him right from the beginning. But it was Hugh Jackman and his, uh, you know, his performance that made us connect with this character much more than we did when it was just into an animation series. And I can say that my generation, like, you know, kids born in the late 80s and the early 90s have, have actually grown up looking at Hugh Jackman play the role of Wolverine and for us he is the best Wolverine guy and like, you know, I don't think any other actor can actually step in and can take the place of him uh, like, uh, like you know can take the character forward right from the starting point of the movie it is dark it is intense uh, it is a no holds barred action sequences that you get to see uh, well the movie starts uh, with Logan uh, in the year two, uh, sorry, 2029 and uh, he's old, he's weak, his powers uh, of like you know, of healing has reduced, he's a drunk guy and he's actually drunk most of the times but uh, we've seen him earlier but this time it's different that, like you know earlier he was at least young he had all his powers but now even his powers are not that much strong in him and he's taking care of his once about like uh, once his mentor, now his friend Charles Xavier, and Charles Xavier is also very old. Patrick Stewart, uh, I mean, like, you know, we saw him right from the first X Men movie, play the role of uh, Charles Xavier. And uh, well, yes, the movie does have a lot of action sequences. Uh, like I told earlier, it has a lot of no holds barred action sequences just like what we had in Deadpool last year in the movie but yes you do laugh at certain points you will definitely laugh uh, at various points uh, when like, you know when you're looking at the conversation between uh, Charles Xavier and <laughs> Wolverine and we get to see X-23 that is Laura I mean everyone knows by that now so don't be afraid like you know it's not a spoiler for you but <laughs> yes X-23 she is I guess she is just awesome, man. I mean, I really like this girl because uh, she pulled off the role of uh, a female younger version of Wolverine convincingly, and she was adorable at that. Uh, like you know, at times when she is uh, taking care of Wolverine, but she was deadly when she is killing off the bad guys, and she was deadlier than Wolverine at certain points. 
and uh, you also get to see X24. Well, that's a spoiler, but not a big one. It's okay. <laughs> and like you know, the movie shows us of a time when Logan has given up hope about his life. He, his sole purpose looks like you know taking care of Charles Xavier, his friend. Unwittingly, once again, he gets uh, involved in uh, like in, you know in somebody else's matter. He could have walked away, but he doesn't walk away. He walks in, he fights the bad guys, and he wins in the end. This movie finally showed us what Wolverine can do when he's pushed to the limit. Because Wolverine actually is has always been shown as an animal from the inside. So yes, uh, I would say that if you're a, if you're a huge Jackman fan, uh, then go and watch this movie in the theaters. If you are an X-Men fan, go and watch it because this is the first of its kind X-Men movie, a proper X-Men movie made. I mean, just go and watch this movie because this is one of the best one released in this year so far and it is definitely one of my favorite superhero movies ever. So yes, Filmy Fanatic chooses to give this movie a big thumbs up, you know, with both the hands. Uh, I cannot give a smile at this time because uh, I'm not happy uh, with the fact that Hugh Jackman will not be returning as Wolverine, but still, like, you know, it is one of the most amazing movies. So go and watch this movie, and it's, don't forget to watch the movie review that we will be giving on Commando 2. So wait for the next video. Watch the video from the link at the end of this video. It will be somewhere around here, either here, here, here. I don't know. But just, just click on the link and watch Commando 2. Till then, sayonara.